There are two words sword in the hand. Go ahead. To execute. We did not add anything in the book. What did we add? What did we add? What? Name one. Name one. Where's your husband? Where's your husband? Where's your husband? You don't have okay. Why? Why? Yeah, cover yourself up. Where's your husband? Let me talk to your husband. I am covered. Are you white? Are you white? You ain't living in the book. Go relax yourself. You not living in the book. Come. You ain't living in the book. Get that man out the park. You elders. She threw water at you? Man, give me, give me Isaiah 41 and JNT, bro. Don't try to spit at the prophet. The most I gonna put you in the ass to death. Read this, read this. Give me Isaiah 14 and 1, man. You got no ass. Get it, get it, get it. Don't let me go. she's young, old, both. They going into slavery. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all are going into slavery. I hope y'all have a terrible day. AIDS, job, I don't care. Because I'm only here for the black and Hispanics. That's who I'm out here for. We're not out here for no damn white people, for no Asian people. Because after Asians, niggas got a whole bill when black people been catching hell for over 500 years. But you're going to give the Asian man a bill to protect him from what? When they got a military, an educational system, they got their own goddamn country, but you want to give these niggas a $1.4 million bill. All right, read this. Isaiah 14 and verse 1 in the GNT. Yahweh will once again be merciful to his people Israel and choose them as his own. He will let them live in their own land again, and, and foreigners will come and live there with them. So everybody say, hey, well, why everybody can go there? They going to be there. They're going to be there, right? Go ahead. Many nations will help the people of Israel return to the land which Yahweh gave them. Right, so we finally going to get to back to our homeland because America is not our homeland. We were stolen from the west shores of Africa and brought to America. How could this be our homeland? Right? Go ahead. And there, the nations will serve Israel as slaves. So Chris, all the people who descend from Christopher Columbus, all the people who descend from all these dirty people that came and brought the black... The what's it called? Blacks from the west west coast of Africa and brought them to America, they gonna be serving us as what? Slaves. What? Slaves in the Bible? S-L-A-V-E-S. -E so in the, the, the Holy Bible just said that all these other nations are gonna serve us as slaves. Right. And that's what God said. So if you got a problem with us, don't have a problem with us. Don't shoot the messenger. Go ahead and try to shoot God. Right. Go ahead and try to fight God, but I'm gonna tell you this right now: your arms are too short, and the Most High gonna mess you up. That's right. 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 Book of Acts, chapter 13, verse 9. Then Saul, who is also called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes on him and said, "O fool of all subtil subtlety and all mischief, thou child of the devil! What? Thou child of the devil!" See, but I see the child of the devil. So we gonna speak to the devil how we want to speak to them. They the goddamn devil that the Bible speaks of. Go ahead. Thou enemy of all righteousness. Now what? Thou enemy of all righteousness. She's the enemy of all righteousness. Try to spit on us. She lucky to put in a punch in her goddamn mouth. Right. Read. Will thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? And now behold. The hand of the Lord is upon thee. Right, and the hand of the Lord is upon them. And guess what? The hand is going to be slavery. Right. right, so my brother, what's your, um, what was you it saying? We have free will. So you said we have free will? Yeah. All right, I'm going to show you something. John, John 7. John, John, give me John 6. John 17. John 7, 17. Come. Okay. I mean, I got a bunch of them here. Where, got, where, oh, no, that's where fine. But we're going to go to John 6. Right. John 6 and 44. Watch this. This is John 6 and verse 44. No man can come to me. X. So, so it says, Christ is saying, no man can come to me. Go ahead. Except, Except the Father which hath sent me draw him. Look at the word draw, it means to drag, to impale. So in order for somebody to come to Christ, the Father literally has to drag you to him. I can't just wake up one day and be like, yeah, I'm going to follow okay. Christ. So, <laughs> so, what you're talking about is, you're talking about a way in order to get to the Father. That has nothing to do with my no, question I didn't, I didn't about, say that. about free will. No, I didn't say that. 
what you're saying is you're describing an Let's action again. that God is saying and Jesus has spoken to that in order for man to get to a certain point. So that has nothing to do with free will. Right. Free will, with man has right, a right up, to choose between good and evil. That's, that's an exercise of free will. God gave that right of free will to man. John 17, let the Lord direct your steps for your ability to make decisions. However, good as it may be, it is not always aligned with the will of God. So you have free will. And if you do the wrong thing outside of God's will, there's a punishment waiting for you. But Romans chapter 9 verse 20. Nay, but O oh men who are doubt to reply against God. Says, who are doubt to reply against God? Like, uh, so the thing form say to him that formed it, why hast thou made me thus? Have not the powder power over the clay? And the powder has power over the clay, right? And the same lump to make one vessel unto honor. So, the same lump to make one vessel unto honor. Like you said, it may not be a, uh, according to the will of God, right? He said one vessel unto honor, which is the will of God, right? We, would you agree? Would you agree? Would you agree? All right, just read. And another unto this honor. And another unto this honor. So God made people righteous and unrighteous. Now watch this. This is uh, Second Peter two and one. But that doesn't speak to free will. Uh, two, we just say two and uh, he has no choice but to be a vessel unto honor, or one has no choice to be a vessel unto dishonor. You know no, the prophet Jeremiah? No, no, no. Wait, Do you know the prophet Jeremiah? Wait, wait a minute. That's not what that verse. Let's read that's it, not let's what that read verse it again. means. Let's read it again. What's that? What's that uh, verse that you again. just read from? Romans nine. Romans verse nine verse twenty. Nay, but oh men who are God that replies against God, shall the thing form say to him that form it? Why hast thou made me thus? Have not the powder, powder of power over the clay of the same lump. Of the same lump, go ahead. To make one vessel unto honor. You can make one person unto honor. Go ahead. And another unto this honor. And another unto this honor. That's it. He can make somebody in honor and another right. person unto this honor. Now, what I will agree is this. We're talking about God setting down a pathway about creation. Creation. Listen, listen, that a man. Jeremiah 10 verse 23. No, 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 no. Wait a minute, bro. Oh, you can't Lord. do that. Not Hold with me. On, you can't do that. You can't do that. I can just speak Lord. my piece. I know that the you way of man is that not in himself. No, it says the mind. way of man is not in himself. No, 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 no. no What's no, your piece? No. What's your piece? My piece is this. I want to stick with your original point. We're talking about when you made the this when you made the choice about bringing up about making an analogy between molding clay. Okay, first of all, I, I, I didn't make the analogy. I, I, I didn't work make with clay. Analogy. Okay. Yeah. You're talking about the forming of something. Forming. That's what that verse speaks to. Or put another way, creating something. <laughs> we, that has nothing you to just do with yourself. That you literally brought up that, that has, has you said hold on hold on hold on because when I went to John 6 you said that has nothing to do with creation so then when I went to Romans now you're saying it has to do with creation and it, 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 it has nothing no, to do with the that's argument. not what I said I didn't say that at all I didn't say it at all he all can right. rewind the tape all back right. All right. you're talking about the forming of something and then the analogy you're that was made, right? the analogy that was made about using dust and clay and, and shaping something I'm talking about free will where man has been given a choice to choose between good and choose or choose evil. That is a free Okay, so the person choice. that was born unto dishonor, did he choose to be evil? Right. He has a Did right. he choose to be evil? Yes or no? Listen, I can be born, I can be born into a dishonorable. Did he choose family. to be evil. We don't know that. You don't know that. You it can't just say, say, all right, no, read, watch this. Watch this. Not what it says. Second Peter chapter 2 and verse 12. But these as natural brute beasts. These people as natural brute beasts. Go ahead. Made to be taken. Made. The word made is ganeo. To be born. When you see when it says, and Joseph begat Jesus, that's the same word. Okay. Made. Born. To be what? Made to be taken. Made to be taken and destroyed. So this person was created okay. to be destroyed. Now, he had no choice. Wait a minute. Give me Jeremiah 1 wait and verse 5. Wait a minute. See, now what you're doing is, you jump from the original chapter that you still couldn't compete your argument with me on. You went to another one, we and another did. one, and now a fourth one. We already so did. So now I'm going to end I'm showing this. you precept I'm upon precept now, what I'm the Bible says. You, I'm going to show you what the Bible says right uh, now. What's the Bible say? Well, I'm going to kill what all the, the arguments. What does the Bible okay? say? You still if didn't God, answer the question, no, did he choose to be an, evil? You have an answer. Did he choose to be evil? Yes no, or no? he didn't choose to be evil. Exactly. So he did not have free will. You said he was created. So he did not have free will. You said he was created. I know Isaiah you chapter 40, 45 verse 7. I form the light and create it darkness. Matter. I it make peace matter. and that's create free evil. Will. That's not free he created. Will. <laughs> that's not free will. That, not free that will. has nothing. That you said free will is the, that, is the ability to choose between speak, good that and speak evil. That does man's opportunity to choose between good and evil. And I'm going to kill you with this. If oh, I, yeah, it's not free 
will. Because we don't have free will. If God, if, God all, if God knows all before it happens, if God knows all before it happens, uh -huh. then what's the point? Because if God knew all before it happens, you're saying God doesn't know, know all before it happens. Know, so you're saying God doesn't know everything. No, I didn't say so that. So you're limiting God's power. Don't even try that. So does that God know work. everything? That doesn't work. Does God with me. know everything? That doesn't work. So does with God me. know everything? That does not work. All right. With me. Does God know everything? You can't flip. You does can't God flip. know everything? That doesn't work with me. Does God know everything? How am I pivoting? I'm, I'm addressing what you just said. I'm asking what you just said. I'm asking you. What's the question? If God knows everything before it happens, wouldn't He know that every eight seconds in this country, some kid is being raped by their parent. That every 11 seconds there's a drunk guy killing six. somebody, right? So he lets it happen. Why? If God's a loving and forgiving God, why would he let it happen? Does God create wicked people? Right? Does God create wicked people? Right? Does God create wicked you people? You can't say for 100% certain whether he does or not. Does God create wicked people? No, but you want to tell no? the that God, God doesn't create do wicked evil. people? Okay. God does do evil. Proverbs 6 like and there's 4. The Lord have made all things for him. For himself. The most high made everything you for himself. Read, Go ahead. Yeah, even the right. wicked. Even the who? What even the wicked. God created the wicked. Hey. That's what the Bible just I didn't say it. The Bible just said it. It said God created the wicked. Go ahead. For the day of evil. For the what? For the day of evil. For the day of evil. God created people to destroy them. He this. made one lump unto honor Watch and this. one lump unto dishonor. How did this person have I'm gonna the ability? prove to you right now there is no God? How about that? So I don't Watch this! Wait, God! Wait, God! If you exist, I dare you! I double <laughs> dare you to strike me dead! I dare you! I'll give you three seconds! I'm gonna show you something. One! Oh, what's this? Two! Yeah, yeah, get the get to him, get to him. Look, 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 he's, temp he's tempting the most like God. <laughs> I'm about to record him this is, this is Matthew. It this, this is the book of Matthew, it chapter 4. Yeah. Yeah. Chapter 4. Yeah. You should have never went over here. I was waiting for a point. You can't write the I don't believe in religion. You can practice I don't believe in religion. I agree with you on many points. I disagree with you on many points. What is it? That should not tempt the Lord that God. You can't keep preaching from a book if somebody doesn't believe in that book. I can preach whatever I want. Yeah, you're right. Because he has in chapter 11, verse 8. But if a man lives many years. It doesn't make you right. If I know it, I just nullified your book. Hey, God, I'm going to give you another chance. Matthew 4, verse 7. Yeah, how was I said unto him? It is written again. Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. So what? Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not tempt. Give me Ecclesiastes 8 and verse 11. That's right here. Go ahead, go ahead. Chapter 8, verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. So it says because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Because he didn't get struck dead right now because it's not speedily. Go ahead. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men. It's fully set in Your them to do evil. His heart is fully set in him to happen right away. So, his heart is fully set in him to do evil. How about this? Why don't your God start protecting these kids getting raped? Why don't what your kids? God, what? All these kids are What kids? Raped. You know the What kids? kids? You know. You what kids? All the time. Well, I don't read the newspaper. Those are what being kids? Those raped by members of the claw. Those are being raped by their family members. Those are being raped by fucking degenerates that just so, snatched So you're mad kids. about rape? I'm mad about mad the about fact rape. that you're trying to say uh -huh. your point, which I agree. You have the right to say it. Yeah. I don't disrespect you or any of you men up here about your belief. Yeah. What I'm asking you to realize is this. Yeah, in the did. same token, say what you want to I mean, say. No, you, you did, though. Live, you did disrespect what we believe in. Because the Bible just say you're not supposed to tempt the Lord thy God, and you try to tempt the most like God. So you disrespected us, though. Respect everybody so you disrespect, else's right to disagree. I, listen, you can, disagree, you can disagree all you want. I don't really care. Right. You can disagree that's all right. you want. That's you put what I'm saying? So you could be that's up here right. screaming, busting your lungs. No. I don't care. No, that, you understand no, what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not on the mic. Uh, I, don't speak, I don't have to speak. And I asked you one question. I don't care. And you, you have to run saying? 10 different verses. I don't not care. Not a single one of them speaks to man's free will, but I got the one you need. I literally read every verse to show you. It didn't say nothing about free will. Okay, let me you ask you a question. You talked about creation. Does the Most High you create evil? You talked about how to get to God. Does the Most High create yes. evil? Yes. Yes. Because he problem? created all. So what's the problem? If God created all, 
So what's the problem right? now? So what's the problem now? He created. You're is judging. raping evil? Oh, is raping evil? You didn't want to condemn that. Is raping evil? It's evil. But you didn't want to condemn that. Did God create it? And guess what? Did God create it? God gave the did, right did God to do that. Like, yes, he did. Okay. Give me Deuteronomy 20 and verse 68. Bring it out. Give me Deuteronomy 20 and verse 68. You, you know why it. God did that? He because did. the black and Hispanic man no, no, don't no, want to no. repent and come no, back to no, God's no, commandments. No, no, That's no, why he did that. No, 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 no. Let's get the Bible. Let's read the Bible. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. And uh, we're not Christians, bro. We're not about to sit here and be like, God is all loving. God is all omnibenevolent. God is not omnibenevolent. I'm sorry. God is a terrible God. Thus saith the Bible. Read. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. With what? With ship. The Bible just said that the Israelites are going to go into slavery on slave ships. That, God said, listen. Okay. Give verse 15. I'm going to show you. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass. This is going to happen. Okay. If you will not listen unto, if you will not hearken and listen to the voice of the Lord thy God. Shalak you. That if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, God said, if you don't listen to me, go ahead, uh -huh. to observe and to do all his commandments okay. and his statutes, which I command in this day, that all these curses, what? These curses. Is a curse a good or a bad thing? Okay. Yeah, is, now. is a curse a good or a bad thing? I, I argue it's both. You take a pretty woman. Uh, Her oh curses, my God. she's pretty. The, uh, that all these curses shall pretty. come upon thee and overtake thee. Verse 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. But with not ships. Egypt. With ships. Okay. I'm in America. Give me Revelation 11 8. If I, I'm okay. Well, wait a minute. If By the I'll, way, we're well, up. This is talking to the Israelites. Okay. The Israelites. Well, the Israel Israel Hold on. Oh, okay, that's cool. You. Uh, what's your nationality? I don't have a nationality. You don't have a nationality? I'm an earthling. You're an earthling. That's who I am. That's cool. I'm an earthling. That's cool. You're an earthling. That's, That's cool. right. That's cool. I'm so an anyways, so, anyways, so you put earthling when you sign up for a job. I do. You I do. Checks off black African American, no, but the no, niggas are earthling. No, I don't. All right, no, bro. I don't. Well, read, read, read. I put other totally. and I write in earthling. By the way, Rob, I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Deuteronomy 17, he told the Israelites they was not going back to physical Egypt. So what is Egypt? The Hebrew word for Egypt is Mitzrayim or Matazarium, which means double straits between a rock and a hard place, bondage, slavery. So God said you're going to go into slavery again with shit if you don't listen to God. Read on. By the way, where I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there, and there, when you get off those slave ships, go ahead. You shall be sold. Shall be what? You shall be sold. Shall be what? You shall be sold unto your enemy. To who? Unto your enemy. Who are poor black people sold to? And the most I gonna kill your ass. Cause guess what? Black people were sold to white people, and God just called white people your enemy. So y'all gotta stop holding hands with the white man, cause the white man is your goddamn enemy. And guess what? What? And the Most High did that, and guess what? The Most High is right for doing that. You know why? Because black people don't listen. Black people don't listen to their mom, black people don't listen to their dad, and they definitely don't listen to God. Because look at you, you a walking, living example of a nigga who don't listen to God. And you part of the reason why we ain't goddamn slavery. Give me Micah 2 and verse 10, man. Because this nigga's at rest. Give me Micah 2 and verse 10. You can go to that book all you want. It means absolutely nothing. It means nothing. What, what do you got? What you got? A degree on YouTube? Nigga watch a 46 minute video talking some bullshit. Micah 2 verse 10. Arise ye and depart. For this is not your rest. This is not your rest. You love America? You love America? You love America? You want me to speak Hebrew to you? You want me to speak Hebrew to you? You want me to speak Hebrew to you? You won't understand what I'm saying. You won't understand what I'm saying. You're reading from an English written book. Let's read in the Hebrew. I'm reading the Hebrew for you just just because you wanted the Hebrew. from an English written book. Book of Song of the Three Holy Children, one and three. A book that was written by a white man. Prove that it was written by white people. Give me Song of Solomon 1 and verse 5, please. Open it up and look at your publisher. Open it up and read your publisher. What is the publisher? Read your what is the publisher? You look what is the publisher? Look in there and read. Does the publisher write things? Look in there and read. Does the publisher read. write things? Right, so the publisher writes the book. First off, the King James Does the publisher Bible write the book or publish the book? The King James Version. You have no knowledge. You have no knowledge. You have no knowledge. You know why? You know why? Because you don't keep the laws of God. You don't keep the laws of God. That's why you got no. Not, I do know the laws of God. I do know the laws of God. That's your, That's your laws. laws. But you got a book. Three holy three. children, one and three. three For thou art righteous in all the things that thou hast done unto us. The Most High 
is righteous for everything that he does to us. You know why? Because when your mama was beating your ass, you wasn't questioning it, nigga. When you was running around in the store, knocking shit over, and she beat your ass, she's right for beating your ass. The same way God is right for beating a black and Hispanic ass. My parents did she, she gotta beat you. Shit, she should have beat you. Cause look how you turned out. I was raised. Look how you turned out. You wasn't raised properly. I was raised properly. Book of book song, song of Solomon. Now, now, now I'm a low educated nigga. Now I'm a low. Now I'm a low educated nigga. I'm not Nigga said I'm a low educated nigga. Listen, and we're not scared. Nigga, I got 40 years in some I don't care what you got. I don't care what you got. Yeah, you got 40 years working for the goddamn white man. That is a white man's goddamn military. That was putting, that was bump breaking your ancestors. Bump breaking your ancestors. And you're gonna work for 40 years. 40 goddamn years to the white man. This nigga's a goddamn. That's right, that's right. That Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. Goddamn. You take that mic and stick it up your ass. Yo, yo, leave him, leave him. I'm not, I'm not, because I'm not a homosexual. I am black. But Pablo said, he said that white people wrote the Bible. Let's see what the Bible just said. Go ahead. Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. I am black. But Pablo said, he said that white people wrote the Bible. Let's see what the Bible just said. Go ahead. Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. I am black, but come I am what? I'm black. What? I'm black. I'm, I am black, but come. I'm black, but comely. I'm black and I'm beautiful. White people don't say that. That's right. Try the hell white people wrote the Bible. Read. Come. Oh, uh, come. Let me get a, 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 a precept. This is this is this is Revelation chapter one and verse fourteen. His head. I don't care about your guns. Go home and bring your stupid ass guns. Go home and bring your guns, nigga. You don't want to play that game, nigga. We're not scared of the white man that be shooting our people every day. You think I'm scared of some damn low life nigga that hates his own people? Are you dumb? Are you dumb? Come on, read. This is Job 30, verse 30. My skin is black. What? My skin is black. No, the Bible didn't just say that. My skin. This is Job chapter 30 and verse 30. And hey, nigga lost a debate and he couldn't prove his person. I want to fight me. Cause you mad. You mad at God. Go fight God, nigga. Go fight God. Go fight God. My skin is black upon me. And my bones are burned with heat. I would just my skin is black. Everything he said made fucking sense. My skin is black. You up here talking bullshit. But I'm supposed to believe that the white man wrote the Bible. So white people just say I'm black? When did you ever heard a white person say I'm black? Please. You can't talk about how much you like show me that. Try to disrespect another black man. Please, I, listen, I, lo I love you, I love you, but you bugged out, brother. No, it's I'm not bugged out. You bugged out. This is the book of Acts, right chapter now. 13 and verse 1. The white people wrote the Bible, but let's see what the Bible says. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon. Jews. He's got a head Prophets. Go ahead. He that with was girl, called nigger. No, the That's the difference. What it say? These people were called niggers. We was called niggers. So what? And, and we the same niggers. And? The prophets of God. The and? real Jews. The Israelites that are black and not Let white. This. The when Bible was not written by the white man. Just answer this question. When you revise something, what does that mean to what you? Is, there, is the Bible revised? The King James Version is, the Bible is a revision. Revised. What is revision? Because King James was ordered by the King of what England. What is revision? The founder of the, the English King Church. James go and through every up. Hebrew, so you're Greek, a Bible and Latin. That's written and, by God. Englishmen. Yeah, no, no, you, not even no, no, the Jews. Yo, 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 Englishmen. You said, you said King James was ordered by the King of England? Yeah. He was the King of yeah. England. Yes, what are talking about, man? Yes, come, come correct me, man. No, 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 wait a minute. King James was the founder of the Anglican Church. Okay? okay? Yeah. Yeah, prove it, 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 prove that, prove that, look, I said prove it, right, he he's not gonna king, prove it, he he's not gonna prove it, the Anglican church, he's not gonna prove it, but you got a so the King James go through the Hebrew, revision. Latin, and Greek, and Greek something. language, and, 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 and translate what? everything, and revise everything, did he do that, did he do that, entire book, we're reading the Hebrew, we can read the Hebrew for you, let's read in the Hebrew, let's read in the Hebrew, good, this is Micah 2 verse 10, in Hebrew, Kwam Yalak Manaha Tama Habal Maras Hab 
Paul, before I even continue, what, what did we just say? Now you go ahead and read it. What did we just say? I don't know. So I, I told you, I don't speak Exa Hebrew. Exactly. It so why matter. would we speak because Hebrew to you? Because that's not what I was taught. So, so why would we speak Hebrew to you? I didn't ask you to speak Hebrew. You said I I'm said, reading an English book. I said, you want me to read Hebrew for you? Because you, you won't understand it. So I got to speak it in English. No, I didn't ask what you to speak it. What the hell? Come out here speaking Spanish or speaking Chinese and niggas just going to know what I'm saying? You're not even smart enough to understand the point. And the point is, the point is, it's written in you, Hebrew, you and we go back. You are railing against white people, which is your right to do. And we go back to, and we They're go back to the language. They're not my fucking languages. friends. But what I'm saying like to you is this: you uh, can't be hypocritical. Yeah. So you want to fight your own brother, your I'm, own people over some fight. white people, no, man? No, it ain't got nothing listen, to do with listen, this. Listen, listen. He's talking. Look, look, look. We're debating about the Bible. Why are you bringing up the white person for, man? Why are you bringing up white people? I'm not. He's telling you about the Bible. He's talking about white people. We don't care about white people up here. We care about our people. And so do I. Okay, I'm stop bringing up other people. We don't I'm care about them. them. We I'm don't not defending them. Why you brought up white people? Where'd you get that You from? brought up white people. You say, oh, these white people, we don't care about white people, man. Oh, what exactly did I say again about white people? You said, you said, what's it called? You talking about white people. Uh, what's it called? What you had the right to, but whatever. You still bring it up. This is that, Isaiah. If you're going to preach, if you're going to preach, you can't be a hypocrite, okay? What am I being a hypocrite about? Because you were preaching from a book that was written by white people in a white man's I just, language. I just proved right? that now, the Bible no, was not proved. written by white yes. people. Okay. So, so do white people say I'm black and I'm beautiful? Yes or no? Yes or no? So yes or no? Yes or no? Do black people? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm answer your question. You haven't answered no. my question. White people have you not. You tell me a white I man didn't write that book. Every single question you have. Right. You Every single answer, question. You didn't answer this question. Right? Did a white man write that book? I'm gonna fly it right short. You got a 1611 edition, right? 16, the GNT, the NLT. Did a white man write that? No! No! So you're telling me. Hold on, I answered your question. Now, can you answer my question? Can you answer my question? Who's gonna get Can you answer my question? It's gonna be a black Can you answer my question? If you answer mine. I already did. You said the white person, I said no. I said no. Give me a Revelation 13 and 10. You just now answered when you said no. I appreciate it. I've been said no. So let me ask you a question. Do white people say I'm black and beautiful? Actually, believe it or not, yeah, there are some people that believe that they're black. Do white people say I'm black and beautiful? Yes or no? You can't, I can't speak for all white people. My brother, you have you ever know. heard a white nigga say I'm black and I'm beautiful? Oh, fucker, you can go on goddamn YouTube and find people that will say so stupid go, shit like that. Show me some bullshit okay? like that. No, you got, the, you got the quest for knowledge. You need to educate yourself on it. You think that Isaiah, Isaiah. all the people on this fucking planet, there's not one white person ever tried to claim to be black. How about said, that woman? Show me a white person saying I'm black and I'm beautiful. Okay. I'll, I'll give Please. you Please. How about show the, me one, show white, me one. The white woman that was running the NAACP. As she said kid, I'm black and I'm beautiful? She was Did saying she say that? that, yes. She's a proud, show black, beautiful black woman. Show me that. Okay? Look it up. Oh <laughs> a proud, <laughs> black, beautiful woman. That's what she was saying. What? Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. Again. I am black, What's that but to do comely. With oh. This is the Bible. The Bible, somebody you're in the Bible saying, is we saying, I'm black and beautiful. You you're saying white people will. wrote this. White people did not say I'm black and beautiful. Keep reading. Oh, you I daughters know, of Jerusalem I as the tents of Kedar. The tents of Kedar, which are black. Go ahead. I'm talking as about the curtains of Solomon, you look not upon me. Look not upon me. Go ahead. Because I am black. You can read all because you want. I am black. Because the want. sun has that looked upon nothing. me. He said, because the sun looked upon me, I'm black. Show me one. One white that gets black in the sun. Show me one white that gets black in the sun. You know why it means But I'm supposed to believe that white people wrote the Bible. It doesn't have you to love the white man. Book. You know how I know you love the white man? The because you served them book. niggas for 40 years. First off, for I didn't 40 serve years. No white man, for okay? 40 years. I served my country. For 40 years. I'm this ain't your goddamn I'm country, country nigga. You were born here on slave shit. You're not supposed to just take this nigga seriously. I died for my country. This is my country. But you're a slave. Paying taxes. Paying taxes to a people that buck break their ass. You were just up here earlier. They raped my ancestors. They did this to us. They did this to us. They did that to us. They did that to us. And now it's I serve my country. Wait, what did I just say? Now I serve my country that's been raping your woman. What about that? Listen. What about this? Let me ask you. You talking about one black girl that gets raped? What about the millions of black men that got raped by white people? I got one question. But you gonna serve these niggas in the military? I got one question for you. This is James chapter one and verse eight. A double-minded man. What's the truth? You ain't prepared a to deal with A double-minded man! What is this brother right here?
a double-minded man. Double-minded man, man. man. Is unstable. Unstable. Wobbling. No, 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 no. But a fall through. Watch out. I'm in all I'm his ways. All your way. All your ways. You're okay. wobbling. Now, like a penguin. you can pivot to whatever you want in your book. I'm not pivoting. You just wobble. Ain't wobbling. nobody out here agreeing with you. Nobody. Listen. It don't matter. Guess what? Ain't Guess, what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? God agrees you know with why? me. You know why? Guess what? God agrees sense. with us. You know why? Because sense. we speak in thus say the most high here. God. We speak out the Bible. You pulled one Bible verse that got disputed, and now you're mad. Now you're mad. How's my God a fraud? You love the white man. You love the white man. You love the white man. And the white man is his God. He said, my God is bullshit because I said, God, come do this, do this, this. But if I call the cops right now and say, cops, da 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 he gonna pull up. He gonna be like, yes, that's God. Because he pulled up right when I called him. They gonna run. That's God. They gonna run over here. Ain't that's nobody God. believe you. Ain't nobody listening to you, brother. Listen, my brother. You know what? You are a coon. You ask a simple question. You're a coon. What's this? What's this? You're a simple-minded coon. I don't even think you know how to How am I a coon if I hate white people? <laughs> Listen, I hate white people. You're an ignorant coon. I, I hate white people. Ignorant. And if there was no laws in America, I promise you, so I'll be literally breaking white people in neck to okay. people after people so after, after that, that's right. Right. Hey. Or songs 137 so, this is what I'll be hey. doing to white people so and there was no law set so directly against black this is what I'll be doing give me one black person give me one black person that voted for the 13th hey. amendment you don't even know the fucking 13th Amendment. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care, I don't care about the 13th Amendment. Listen, you're still a slave. According to the 13th Amendment, you're still, you can be a slave. You can be a slave. I don't care about the amendments, because this is not my country. What's the, hold on, hold on. What's the laws in China? What's the laws in China? Where are the laws in China? You are low educated. You don't know, but I'm low educated. This is not my country. I don't study this country. I don't care about America. God, how, God damn America. This is not our rest. This is your homeland. Because you're a coon. Why am I here? Because white people brought me here. That's why I'm here, nigga. White people brought me here. White people brought my ancestors to America. And go where? And go where? And go where? Where in Africa? Where in Israel? When white people? Give me a Luke 21 and verse 24. Because you a simple minded nigga. All and it's old know. niggas like it's only like white want. people because only white people say go back to Africa. Right. Bitch, bring me back to Africa. You talking about go back to Africa? Bring me to Africa then. Pay my plane ticket. I want first class. I want a private jet first of all. Give me a private jet. I need water. I need champagne. I need some wine. I need some honey. I need some what else? I need. I need a cruise ship. I need a I need a jet to the cruise ship, and then you can take me back to Africa. After you done built my mansion, because you stole us from me. I need some fried chicken. I need some curry, I need some oxtail, some curry goat. I don't eat that shit. That's cool, that. that's cool, that's cool. But guess what? I'm not you going back. I'm not going back. The more you make I'm jokes, sure everybody out here is looking you at you as a fool that you are right listen, now. Because listen, you, give me that, uh, you uh, couldn't defeat the argument. You can read from your book all you give want. Me but you know why? I don't care, I don't care how people look you, at me. They gonna hear the word of the Lord regardless. I don't care. I don't care. You should give up the mic. I don't care. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1. Bring it out. It says, the Lord will once again be merciful to his people, Israel, and choose them as his own. He will let them live in their own land again. So we are going to go back to, we are going to go back to Jerusalem. Go ahead. And foreigners, foreigners, go ahead. Will come and live there with them. Many nations will help the people of Israel return to the land. That's when we go go back. When the nations bring us back, when they help us go back over there, because guess what? They help bring us over here, so they gonna help bring us back over there. And if they not helping me, I'm not going back until the most I come back. Go ahead. Which the Lord gave them. So like, and, 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 and there, the nations will serve Israel as slaves. What? As slaves. What? As slaves. So when the nations come back, and help me go back to Israel, what and they're my slaves, doing? that's when I'm going to go back. Are you Proclaiming doing? the word of the Lord God. Okay, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Keeping the law, statute, and commandments, and showing love to my people. What are you doing? What have you done for black people? First off, nigga, what have you done, done for black people? Well, nigga got 40 not. years in the military, but you done that's shit right. for black people. That's right. I but you done shit for black people. I've opened up a lot of doors for black people. I opened you a lot of doors, yeah, to get shot in the street.
you done? What have you done? Listen, you know what we done? Give me you wanna know what we done? I'm gonna show you what this organization has done. It's got people to stop selling crack to pregnant ladies. That's what we got done. That's right. Got brothers off the street, help them pay their rent, help them with their kids. What have you done for black people? Yeah, I've done more What have you done for black people? I would die for a black person. You know that, right? I would die for any one of you. I would die for you. And I would die for you. I thought for you too. What? I, I can't but believe you. But know you know what? I can't believe what you. What did I tell you? Here's I can't what we believe do. you because you have no structure. You have we no go foundation. Up to right now, we go up to Elmont. Uh -huh. And we'll pull my records. I ran into the fucking epicenter when COVID hit. It was in Queens. I worked Task Force 5. Four months. Okay? I put dead bodies in tractor trailers. I didn't see you. I went around organizing people to vote. I didn't see you. Give me so they can't make 17. a difference. Give me Deuteronomy no, 6, because you, you ordered niggas to vote, right? Right. So look, hold on, hold on. No, no, so, no, no. so getting you. black people to don't, vote don't is doing choose. something good for black and Hispanic. Yes, it is. Let's see because if it, it is. Money. Because it as money. soon as Biden got in the in the into about? um the house, what do you he passed about? the bill for Asians. But what have you done? But if I'm not if I don't okay. vote for Biden, okay. I'm not black. Okay. Now but the first shit you do is make a 1.4. Million pass a 1.4 million dollar bill for Asians, but I'm supposed to believe that voting for this nigga is something good for the black well, community and the Hispanic do. communities here's and the Native American communities. Hold on, how does the Native American no, 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 communities no, 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 look no, no, like? What have you done for the Native American you right, asking, reservations? You ain't asking that's another drunk, question that's the nothing. number one people that's drunk on the ass because they got a highway running through their land. Nothing. Great. This is Deuteronomy chapter 17 of verse 15. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee. Whom the Lord, thy God, shall choose. It's right here. What have you noticed? Right here. The one from among thy brethren. You have to choose a king from among your brethren. Are white people your brothers? 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 They are my human species. Are white people your brothers? They are humans. Are they your brothers? We don't have to be my brothers. Are they your brothers? They're not my they're brothers. They're not your brothers. Thank no, they're not my brothers. One from among their brethren. Yeah. One from what? Yeah. Their brethren. You got to choose a king above you from among your brethren. That's what the Bible okay. says. That's what God well, said. Well, I so you God. chose so Biden. Why? But I'm supposed to believe that that's for black and Hispanics. Okay. When the reason we're in slavery well, is because niggas so like you want to vote for Biden. So you want to Trump? I'd rather, listen, you Trump? I'd rather Trump than Biden. You know why? Because Trump is an open devil. They got experience in cages. They got Mexicans in cages. And I'm supposed to believe that voting for Biden is something good? He don't like Biden, he likes Trump. Something good? You like Trump. Biden is a bunch of Biden. Hey, but you like Trump. <laughs> Listen, I like Trump better than you like Biden. You know why? Because I don't like a nigga that hides his racism. Why you gotta hide it? Yeah, I love, if you don't vote for me, you're not black. But as soon as I get in the office, I'm going to make laws to make you black people more oppressed. But, but, but Trump is open with it. I'm going to build a wall. I'm going to do that. I'm gonna do, at least I know he's the devil. Right. Biden, he's tricking y'all niggas. They you a simple nigga. They got tricked by Biden. Program. Hey, Biden, Biden's a goddamn liar. The Biden, they asked Everybody Biden, I didn't you say, you, you, don't have have we, you don't have to wear a mask after getting back, after getting fully back? He said, I never said that. You just pick the He's a damn devil. That's what he is. You just pick the whitest of the whitest motherfuckers to say that you are for. You just disrespected all your brothers. He's not my president. You just. You need to give up the mic. You disrespected all your brothers <laughs> when you told all these people listen, you'd rather have a listen, racist fucking listen, plan than Donald home. Trump. Go home. Don't, don't, you don't you have work in the morning? Don't you have work in the morning? Don't you have work in the morning? Because I'm smart enough to work hard. You know what? Hard. Right, you, okay? you retired? You're retired? That's right. You got a 401k? That's right. You got a 401k? Oh, I'm set for life. You got, you got, you got uh, uh, social set. security? I'm set. You got social security? In about four so go to hell home. I'm going to get my shit. So go to hell home. While you sitting there eating good on your stamp card, nigga. Yeah, I don't have food stamps. No? No. No? I'm 20. You got a job? I'm, yeah, I do. You do? Yeah, I do. You pay taxes? Yeah, I do. You a fucking house, nigga. nigga. do you pay taxes, That's nigga? Nigga, do you pay taxes, nigga? How much was that shirt? Didn't he say that? If yeah, taxes, I said that. You then pay you, taxes, you, you're a slave. Then you're Listen, a slave. you're a house, nigga, you're and I'm the field, nigga, because we out here, nigga. Because we're out here. You at home with a fucking 401k calling me a house. You're a goddamn house, nigga. Give me Daniel 1 and verse 3. I earn it. You a house, nigga. You sound like I earned the chicken at master's table. I earned to sit at master's table. That's you. No, a goddamn house slave. You're a high yellow shit
call a nigga at that. Look at Danny okay. something well, three. That just means that, and the, that white man raped your motherfucking ancestors more than they raped mine. That's why you that high color. Verse three. And the king spake unto Aspenaz, the master of his eunuchs, the master you can have. That he should bring certain of the children of Israel. Sir, they brought him and the children of Israel, which is this nigga right here. Go ahead. And of the king's seed and of the princes, the children in whom was no blemish. Verse 5. And the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat. That's what the, that's what Biden did to you. Made you a goddamn house slave. You getting you getting master's food ready? You getting master's drink ready? And I earned the tea, I earned the seat at master's table. That's you. I don't want to be at master's table. I'd rather be outside. I'd rather be outside plotting a rebellion like Nat Turner. You too weak to be part of Nat Turner's rebellion. You one of them niggas. Yo, master. You so Nat Turner's rebellion. Yo, get that nigga, bro. He's killing white people. That was you. You still couldn't handle that the fact that you couldn't prove that God gave free will to man. But in the proof of ready, you got eviscerated, and now you mad. You and the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat and of the wine which they he drink. So, that's, that's so, you. You to so nourishing them three years that at the end of their own no, they might okay. stand before the king. Dumb. Now read that part again. Go ahead. That the they might stand before people. the king. The nourishing them three years at, that at the end of their own they might stand. That's what the that's what the navy did to you. They nourished you to be a good house slave. I'm talking to you. I don't care. I'm talking to you. He's listening. He's listening. He's listening. The camera's listening. He's listening. They're listening. And you're listening. Don't look at you make a fool. I don't care. Guess what? You're a good nourished house slave. That's you. And I'm a feel nigga, not true. Give me, uh, what's it called? Give me, how am I dumb? Give me, give me some. that shit about the I know he was. You love educators. You lost. You can't stick to you. You can't answer one question without trying to jump around. Because you lost. You lost. It was game over a half hour ago, nigga. You but he's a whole fucking coon house nigga, man. You was done. You done lost all the people that actually was standing with you. I, 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 hold I on, still hold on, agree. Hold on, hold on. My, my beautiful, this I beautiful agree. couple right here. Is, get, get, this, okay. get this brother a fly. I agree man. with 95%. Get this, get this brother a fly. That was right, God. This is 2 Peter chapter 2 and verse 16. But was rebuked for his iniquity. It was rebuked for his iniquity. Go ahead. The dumbass. His brother. The dumbass. What the Bible just called you? The dumbass. The Bible called you a dumbass, man. Yeah, you a dumbass. Put the smart, educated man on the mic. Put the white man on the mic? Put the smart, educated man back on the mic. Why are you mad? I'm not mad. You are, and you're double minded. First, you hated white people, and now I served them for 40 years. I I love them. I don't have to like somebody, Listen, but I guess don't what? hate my enemy. Listen, guess, you don't hate your enemy? I don't hate my enemy. You don't hate your enemy? You're dumb enemy. God, give me Romans 9 and 13. You are dumb enemy. Bring it out. Give me a side rack. You uh, never hate your enemy. You always respect your fucking you enemy. Respect. You respect. I'm supposed to respect. Hold on. You're Please, supposed this. to be Let smart me get this enough. Let me get this you don't even understand the concept of respect your enemy. My brother with the bike. I'm supposed to. My brother with the bike. With the bike. My brother. My brother. With the bike. Black hat. Black hat. Let me show you. I'm supposed to respect somebody that did this? No. I'm talking am, I to, hold on. am I supposed to respect somebody that ripped the babies out of pregnant ladies and feed them to alligators? I'm supposed to respect that. I'm not respecting my enemies. You can be the coon and respect them, but I'm not going to respect them. Let's see what God feels. Let's see how God feels about this. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9, and verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. But Esau have I hated. What? Esau have I hated. And God hated the white man. God hates the enemies. Go ahead. We can Cyrex chapter, uh, chapter uh, 12, verse 6. For the most high hated sinners. 12 and 10. And God hates sinners too. Just, just for the Christians out there. God hates sinners. So don't say God loves uh, the sinner and, and hates the sin. God hates the sinner too. So y'all black and Hispanics, y'all gotta repent and come out of Babylon and come back to the Most High God. Right, go ahead. Cyrac, 12 and 10. Never trust thy enemies. Never. I'm supposed to respect them. How can I respect? If I don't trust you, how can I respect you? Do you respect somebody you don't trust? No. And the Bible says, never trust thine enemy. So how am I supposed to show respect to somebody that I can't trust? But I'm supposed to believe some house nigga 
that was in Esau's army for 40 years are telling me I'm supposed to respect these people. Like the, how? How? They fed babies to alligators and then wore the shoes. Alligator bait and wore the shoes of the uh, alligators that ate them. That's what's supposed to respect you. This is Psalms chapter 139 and verse 21. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee. Now what? Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee. And I hate the people that hate the Most High God. And the white man hates God. The Chinese man hates God. The East Indian man hates God. The Arab woman that walk in the goddamn uh, 100 degree weather, weather with a damn, what's them shit called? Whatever they be having on, bro. The hijab and everything. There's a walking example right there. It's goddamn 100 degrees. You walking, nigga, you <laughs> And I hate them too, because they hate God. The most high God. Book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 2. For he will be found of them that tempt him not. Say it again. For he will be found of them that tempt him not. God's going to be found of those that tempt him not. So guess, guess what? God is not with this brother. The Bible just condemns him. God. And showed himself unto such as do not distrust him. And he shows himself on the people that don't distress him. You stress out the Most High God. That's why he's not showing himself onto you. You think, you think some nigga from the army is going to call God and he's just going to listen to you? Like, what? what? Like, like, it's just me. And I just called the CEO of Amazon like, yo, bro, why you make this say, um, what's it called? Why my package not here yet? You think he's going to answer the phone? No, God is not going to answer you. What the hell? We got Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 29. But if from this thou shalt seek the Lord thy God, thou shalt find him, if thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. That's what black, and my brother with the bike, you got to stop letting this cool into your ear, bro. You got the devil all up in your ear. I'm letting you know that now. Give me Mark 4 and 14, please. Give me Mark 4, because this is Satan right here. Exactly. That's how you seek the most high with all your heart, with all your soul, not tempting the most high God. Exactly. You try to seek the most high God, you got to seek him with everything, your might, soul, body, heart, and mind, everything. That's what the black and Hispanics have to do. Because the black and Hispanics have not been seeking the most high God at all. So we got to come back to God so we can get back on top. I know y'all tired of working. I'm tired of work. I know y'all tired of, of paying taxes to a people that stole you. I know you tired of getting kicked out of a place that you're originally. How you kick out Mexicans from Texas, uh, what's it called? Arizona, New Mexico, California, and say they're, they're aliens and they're immigrants. But that's their land, I, and I'm supposed to be content and say, this is my, that's the country he's fighting for. That is the country that he's fighting for. The one that kicked out the Mexicans from their land. But you love black and Hispanics though. Goddamn lie. This is Mark chapter 4 verse 14. The sower soweth the word. The sower soweth the word, right God? And these are they by the wayside. And y'all are by the wayside, God. Alright, all right, all right, but look at that flower, right King? I right, have a good one, bro. Where the word is sown, but when they have heard Satan. Right, when, when this brother heard Satan with the Coney Island Brooklyn shirt, go ahead. Cometh immediately. Cometh what? Immediately. And Satan cometh immediately to do what? And taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. And brother, you letting the devil in your ear, you're going to be a devil. I'm not going to listen. He whispering that talk in your ear, he's going to get in your head. He's going to mess you up. Right. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. First of all, I gotta hear both parts of the story. I'm a black man just like everybody on here. Oh, you, 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 you go, you go, you go, you go, you go. I ain't gotta jump me. Like, no, 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 you're good. 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 you are good you are good you are good you are can hear that they going into slavery. That's what they hear. Yeah, and that's and that's why white people are going into slavery. That's why they're going into slavery because of what they did to the black and Hispanics. That's what we preaching. 
Explain to me how to go on in the slave. I'm gonna show you. Give me Ezekiel 15, hey, and 24 and 15. No, 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 no. Hey, give me Isaiah 14. Can you, can you, can you, can you, can you watch up? No, no, can you walk up? Can you, can you walk up? Watch out, watch out. Shaas, Shaas. Shaas, Come here. Why? Nat Turner read the Bible, right? And but hold on. Nat Turner read the Bible and started killing white people. Why did he do that? No, why did he do that? Nat Turner read the Bible and why, why did he do that? My blood is Moses. Why did he do that? If the, if the Bible's for slavery, why would when he read the Bible, when he read the Bible, listen, listen, we speak the same thing. He gonna say the same thing to you that I've been saying to you. He gonna say the same thing to you that I've been saying to you. So you can talk to me, he ain't gonna talk to you. But go ahead, my brother. But how, how, why did he do that? Why would he start killing white people? That's my you have, you can hit the But when you also you need to know, brother. No, I, why did he start killing white people? That's cool, but why did he start killing white people? Nat Turner. Yeah, and he started killing white people when he read the Bible. Give me, uh, give me, um, what's it called? Exodus 21 and 16. I'm going to show you what he was reading. Because if you watch Birth of a Nation, I want you to, I really want you to watch Birth of a Nation. I want you to watch it, for real. Because I didn't get to watch it yet, and I'm going to watch it. So I'm going to watch it, you watch it. All right, my brother? It's a good ass movie. And I'm going to show you what he's reading. Watch this. This is what he started reading. Watch. This is Exodus chapter 21, verse 16. And he that stealeth a man. So he that stealeth a man. White people stole us from the west shores of Africa. Go ahead. And selleth him. And sold us. Go ahead. Or if he be found in his hand. And we were still found in his hand. Go ahead. He shall surely be put to death. Nat Turner was reading this. And that's guess what? The, guess what? Listen. Guess what white people did? They stopped him from reading that. Why would white people stop him from reading this if they gave it to us for slavery? Right. How many that white people are you Why would white people stop us from reading that? You believe in that word for word? How many Why would white people stop us from reading that? How many of you not kill white people? Give me. You tell another people to kill white people. How many of you kill? This is what the person that Turner was reading. Psalms 149, verse 6. Let Verse 5. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud. Hold on, brother, with that hat, with that hat, with that hat. Say it again. God, God hates. We're reading out the Bible. God hates in the Bible. Psalms 149, verse 6. You can scream all you want. We don't care. How we're adding from the how we're adding to the Bible when we're reading the Bible. That's reading every word in the Bible. How are we adding to it? Read, read, no, read, read, read. Let the high praises be in their mouth and the two head swords in their hands. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and the two head sword in their hand. Go ahead. To we did not add anything in the book. What did we add? What did we add? What? Name one. Name one. Where's your husband? Where's your husband? Where's your husband? You don't have okay. Why? Why? Yeah. Cover yourself up. Where's your husband? Let me talk to your husband. I am covered. Are you right? Are you right? So relax yourself. So relax yourself. Come. You ain't living the book. You got me out the book. You this is Romans chapter 9 verse 13. You said I added to the book. Oh, wait. New Testament, Romans 9. Go As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. But Esau have I hated. In the Bible, it said that God hated Esau. And I say that God hates white people. So how do I add it to the book? If God hates white people, uh, here you can say something. But you ain't killing no white people. Well, you gotta stop reading that shit. You gotta hold the mic if you want to smash it. Why? No, why? What you gotta say? What you gotta say? You gotta say? You gotta say? That's that's I, I am racist. God is racist. Right, that's good. Hold on. Let's read it. Psalms, listen, my brother, listen. Psalms 149, verse 10. I'm racist because I only love black, Hispanics, Native, and Seminole Indians. I'm sorry I don't love the white man that's been enslaving y'all niggas for 500 years. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I don't love them. But you want to God be a goddamn and scoot your ass off in that bike, man. Let's see if this racist. Psalm 149, verse 6. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth 
and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen. Two-edged sword to execute vengeance, payback to the heathen, which are not Israelites. Go ahead. And punishment upon the people uh -huh. to what bind their kings with chains. To bind their kings with chains. Go ahead. And their nobles with fetters of iron. And their nobles with fetters of iron. Go ahead. To execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his sins. That's what it seems like. Praise ye the Lord. Praise who? Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. That's what? And that's what Nat Turner was reading. But I'm supposed to believe that the white man wrote the Bible. Sitting down. But the white man is going to be a slave in the kingdom of heaven. No white man. You ain't a slave. No white, white person you killed. Give me, give me way in the book. Sit down. You elders need to sit First down. Thessalonians chapter 1. And, no, I'm sorry. Second Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with God to, to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. And we recompense tribulation to those that trouble us. You don't, you don't want to give them tribulation. You want to work for them. You want to serve their country. You want to serve their community. You want to serve the white man. We don't serve the white man. We don't serve the white man. I dare you read Genesis. Give me Genesis 27 and 41. No, 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 no. 19 to 24. When God talked about how he created man from the dust of Eden. That's not chapter 19. Please come correct. That's not chapter 19. Please come correct. And I'm coming up. You said chapter 19. You mean verse 19? We can start at verse 19. Yeah, we can start and go up. Yes. But you can't say God said man is created in his Who did he choose? Who did he choose? Okay. Who did he choose? The issue is who did he choose? Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Yes or no? He created us. He created us. Did God create man in his chapter 7 and verse 6? Yes, us. Yes, us. Sit down. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. Yahweh, thy God, hath chosen thee. God said he chose the Israelites, go ahead, to be a special people. To be a special people, go ahead. Unto himself, above, no, below, above, no, e above, e above, above all people. That God said that black and Hispanics are above everyone that's on what? Upon the face of the earth. Upon the face of the earth. So God is racist. And I'm racist because I'm like God. I'm created in God's image, right? I'm created in God's image, right? And God's racist, so I'm racist. You not created in God's image because you were goddamn cool. You were cool. Stop being a cool. Stop. Do you have kids? Do you have kids? Do you have kids, brother? God created man Do you in got kids? So you're saying God Do you have kids? God his own Do you image? have kids? Does God eat his own Do, Who was God speaking? Who was the God that was speaking? You don't even know. You don't even know. You don't even know. Hey, 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 hey. What does it mean God created man in his own image? What does that mean? Hold on. I'm about to answer you. God his own image. Listen, I'm about to answer you. Brother, listen, listen. No, he doesn't hate his own image. I'm asking you something. I'm, look, look, go and say something, he's going to run. Listen, what does it mean God created man in his own image? You don't even know what that means. You're just using it because you simple, man. What does it mean? He created man Meaning God made man like judges over the beasts of the earth. He gave man dominion on the earth. That's all it means. God created man in his own image. That's what it means. It has nothing to do with, oh, the white man is equal to us. Nah, man. You simple. Definitely. You're deaf. You're deaf. What are you talking about, nigga? You're definitely you're, simple. You lost. You're deaf. What is the Hebrew word for God? Because now you're reading out of the English Bible. Now you're reading out of the English Bible. What's the Hebrew word for God? No, no, no. It's Elohim. It's Elohim. So you don't even know the verse you're quoting. You don't even know the Hebrew of the verse you're quoting. So you don't even know what it means. You don't even know what it means. But he's going to try to use it in an argument against me. But you don't know what it means. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Didn't. I still be no, you didn't. Now give me that uh, Ezekiel 24 and 15, please. God, God hates white people. God creates something. Second Ezra. I'm sorry. Second Ezra. Does God hate white? Let's see it. Let's second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, and of him come we. So, so everybody comes from Adam, right? When God Everybody comes from Adam, right? God created something. Is it good? Of him come we all. And the pe and the people also whom thou hast chosen. So he juxtaposed everyone from the people he chose, which is the Israelites, the back of his friends. Go ahead. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, 
because thou madest the world for our sakes. God made the world for the Israelites. He didn't make the world for everybody else. So I don't know how he's not raised. He made it, some of them says, he made it for us, not for everybody. God, as for the other people, for white people, the Chinese people, the East Indian people, go ahead. Thou, so as for the other people, which also come of Adam, they come from Adam too, go ahead. Thou has said that they are nothing. <laughs> they are what? That they are nothing. What did God say about Chinese people? They are nothing. God said that they are nothing. Go ahead. Does not create evil, but be, but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Come on. Wait, read it, read it again. Look. You lost. And and has likened the abundance of them like unto a drop that. Too much. And that was too much. That's right. That was, and that's that's what the other na that's what the other na that's what the other nations are to God. Spittle and nothingness. That's what that nation. That, give me Isaiah seven. Give me Isaiah forty verse seventeen. Cause you a simple nigga. That's what you are. A simple cool. A simple cool. You're a disgrace to your people. That's right. You are a disgrace. And I hope you don't have kids because God. Imagine on YouTube this nigga. I'd be like, Daddy, why you do? Dad, why'd you do this? Why did you do this to yourself? You know that, you know that commercial? Uh, no, uh, 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 the, uh, was it the Steve Booker show? Look at the screen. Is that your man? That's my man. I'm going to stick the side of him. That's your man? That's your man? Listen, listen. Do you have kids? Do you have kids? Do you have kids? You do have kids? Why are you not? Don't be, don't, don't be disrespectful. Don't be disrespectful. Don't be disrespectful. Don't be disrespectful. And you're supposed to tell me this and nigga is supposed to tell me to respect white people, but he's saying, do I have kids? Ask my mom. That's right. Come on and you lucky we not niggas, because my dad is right there. You better, like if we was niggas, it would have been done for this thing. But that's how you know we look and we forgive the black and Hispanic people. That's right. Because even though they talk shit, we got to forgive them. We got to still love them. You feel what I'm saying? Because you lucky you said that to us, I ain't gonna lie. Because if you said that to a nigga over there, or a nigga over there, you would have been on the floor. With a chalk line around you. I'm gonna let you know that right now. You call me nigga, I'm gonna let you know that right now. I'm gonna let you know that right now. I'll call, if I called you a nigga? If I called you a nigga? Yeah, you lucky you Fuck the cops. You scared of the cops. You scared of the cops. You scared of the cops. If the cops wasn't there, Nobody. If the cops, so if the cops was in there, he would have killed black people. But this man loves black. This man loves his people. But he would have killed a young, twenty-year-old, so-called black man. But I'm supposed to believe that you love black people. You're a joke. You are a joke to you, your mom, your dad. If you do have kids, you're a joke to them too. And I hope they, I don't know. I hope they get some type of education and, and, and walk in the ways of the most high because you obviously has it. You, what time is it? Like, 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 like it's, it's 814 and you're out here arguing with a 20 year old man. Do something with your life. Please, do something with your life. If I'm dumb, walk away. Why would you talk to a dumb nigga? I'm not gonna sit here and talk to some dumb. Oh wait, I am talking to some dumb nigga. I'm up for it. I ain't gonna say I'm not. I've been talking to this dumb nigga for a minute. All you do is embarrassing your brothers out here. Right, right, right. We got Isaiah chapter one and four. A sinful nation. <laughs> You're simple nation, man. Go ahead. A people living with iniquity. A, a person that's laden with iniquity. And the most high gonna kill you last. I'm gonna let you know this now. If you don't repent, the most high will definitely kill you. A seed of evil doors. A seed of evil that is you. A seed of evil doers. Children that are corrupters. Your children as a, you're a child of corruption. That is you. They have forsaken the Lord. You know, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel to anger. They are going to wave backwards. You provoked the Most High God. You provoked the Most High God. You provoked the Holy One of Israel. And you're going to wave backwards. This nigga is backstroking to his death. You might as well go in the water and go start backstroking and to go, go all the way out. And I don't know because start go ahead because you're already doing it. <laughs> this is Sirach chapter 22 verse 13. Talk. Nah, I'm gonna give you a precept. Talk not much with a fool. 
girls walking by here wearing bikinis. I watched you walk in right at these girls' ass. Look at Magic chapter 18, verse 6. But who so shall offend one of these little ones? So look at this what Christ said. Who should offend one of these little ones? Where are the little ones? Literally. <laughs> the little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and, and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. It's better for you to have a damn millstone around your neck, a damn anchor, and your ass in the mirror. That's better for you to do than come against the, the little ones of the Most High God. That's right. And you're coming against the little ones, so you dug your own grave. I'm so here. I'm saying go kill yourself. It's better. God said it's better for you to kill yourself than to come against us. That's what he said. Where's your God at? Where's he at? And, and heaven, and in heaven, in heaven, in heaven, disappointed in your stupid ass. That's where God is. In heaven, disappointed in your simple, stupid minded self. Go ahead. Said Jeremiah what? Oh, four. Jeremiah to the four, verse 22. Get that in the GNT, man. Let somebody with Get that in the GNT. You mad? You, you mad as hell? You don't want. You don't want them to speak. You lucky. You lucky. I'm speaking. Hey, you lucky. He's the one talking. Okay. I talk. You lucky, huh? This nigga. This nigga talking all day. Wait, wait, wait. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Why you gotta use the mic? Right, because I want everybody to hear. I want everybody to hear how God called you stupid. This is Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 22. The Lord says, my people are stupid. Right. What did God say? My people are stupid. God said that you're stupid. You're stupid. And God said it. That's what you believe. You're stupid though. But you are stupid. You can't tell me. Did you graduate? You got a GED. You got a GED. Don't speak for me. You got a bachelor's degree. Don't speak for me. You got a master's. And you so fucking stupid. You got a PhD. You got having an education. You got something? No, I don't. I don't. And I don't care about the white man's education. But I just want to see if you have any type of education. You don't have no spiritual education. You got no street education. The only education this nigga got is the 40 years in the military that your simple. And that's that's the only shit you know to be a good ass slave and a good a good badass for the most high. Give me um second Maccabees five and verse uh, two and fifty nine. So what? You dropped out in third grade? No, I didn't drop out in third grade. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't drop out in third grade. Actually, I didn't drop out in third grade. I just know this. I keep keep walking, please. Hey, what are you talking, bro? <laughs> yeah, man, Second Maccabees chapter two. Ooh. Ooh. The light shining. Hey, the lighting on the camera is fire. Shining. Oh god. That's Second way. Maccabees chapter two. You, verse one again. Verse fifty nine. Uh, right. Oh shoot, where am I at? So, so, oh, first Maccabees. Huh. First Maccabees, chapter two, and verse fifty-nine. This is it's right here. Right? No, I don't think that's what you want. <laughs> this is first Maccabees, chapter three, verse fifty-nine. For it is better for verse 58. And Judas said, Arm your arm yourselves and be and be valiant men, and see that ye be in re in readiness against the morning, that ye may fight with these nations. That, be, that ye may what? Fight with these nations. So we're supposed to fight against the nations, but this simple nigga is fighting with them. You wanna fight with them when we're supposed to be fighting against them. You wanna kill black people. And you wanna and you wanna fight with the enemy. Go ahead. Go ahead. That are assembled together against us to destroy us and, and, and our sanctuary. They're, they're ready to destroy us in our sanctuary and you're ready to fight with them. Like what? The race war pop up, we fighting against Esau. This nigga's on Esau's side like master, get that nigga. He's right, he's right, get him, he's right there. Go, hiding behind this nigga. Alright, bye. Have a have a beautiful brother, have a beautiful day and repent. For it is better for us to die in battle. It's better for us to die in battle go against the so-called white man. God. Then to behold the calamities of our people and our sanctuary. All right, have a, have a beautiful day, sisters. Come. Nevertheless, as the will of God is in heaven, 
So let him do. And you want to fight against the nation. You want to fight with the nation against us. How that work? How you fight with the white man against the black man? But you're supposed to be Black Lives Matter, pro-black, I love black people. You're a joke. <laughs> Psalms 94 and 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Hey, who's going to rise up for God against the evildoers? Because, because it's not him. It's the black and Hispanic, strong black and Hispanic men. That's willing to come out here boldly. And to, uh, give me what my song man. You already know what I want. And who, I want. and who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? And that's going to be, we the ones that's going to stand up for the most high against the workers of iniquity. Because he's obviously not. He's obviously fighting with the devil. Literally. Because the white man is the devil. He's fighting with the devil. Niggas in a WWE match tag team with the devil. <laughs> Against God and the Israelites. He's in a handicap match. He's a fucking handicap match. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, oh, Isaiah 13 and verse 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them. That's what he is. Joined onto the white man. Go ahead. What's going to happen to them? Shall fall by the sword. And they're going to die. And, and guess what, though? Now let's read it again. Let's read it again. Come on. Isaiah 13 and verse 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. Uh -huh. And everyone that is joined unto them. So you join to the white man, go ahead. Shall fall by the sword. And guess who brought that scripture up? It's the man that you wanted to talk to. The man that you wanted to talk to is speaking the same thing that I'm speaking. Because guess what? You being joined to the white man are going to bring your ass to death. I'm asking one question. Let's see Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5 and verse 1. Then shall the righteous men stand in great boldness. That's us. We're going to stand in great boldness. I got one question. Like I said, if it, the cops wasn't here, I just got one question. Do it. One question, I'm going. Be, before the face I'm going to give you a chance to redeem yourself. I don't, have, just, I don't have to my redeem myself to, to you. You, I don't. You gotta redeem yourself no, to God. Me, not to me. Not to your brothers. Who am I supposed to redeem myself to? Look bad uh, did I make you look bad? Yeah, you did. Did I make you look bad? No. 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 That's fine. Hell no. That's fine. Did I make black people look bad? No. I got one. Did I make? Did the brother? We're in, he's said, not even in our organization. Yeah, he said I didn't you make you look said, bad. So you obviously not making no sense. You're you obviously said, by yourself. You said you know the I, white man is your enemy. That's he is. He's your enemy. Now. Nigga juxtaposing me and him because he's not the white man's enemy. Go to your book and read that part where wow. it says God said, love thy enemy. Show me where God said that. Look it up. Show me where God said that. Show, show me it. Show me it. Show me it. Show me it. There's enemies of your own nation. Because obviously, obviously right now, you're looking at me like you wanted to kill me just now. So obviously I'm your enemy. And that's the person you're supposed to love. You're supposed to love me. So you're looking at me like the enemy. That's who God said to love. That's who Christ said. But it wasn't God. It was Christ. Like I said, God said it. was Christ. And not, not the most High God. Right? You hate black people. But I'm lost. I love. At least I love black people. At least I can say at the end of the day, I love and I would die for the black, Hispanic, Native, and Seminole Indians. You cannot say the same. You go home and you're gonna think all night you're gonna be in bed like this. Yo, man, I wish I could catch this nigga in the alley, break his neck, something. That's that's his thing at home, thinking about it, pondering upon it. Leviticus 19 and verse 18. What you just quoted. In the in the NLT, do not seek revenge or bear a grudge against a fellow Israelite. A fellow who? A fellow Israelite. It's not talking about white people. It's talking about the black and Hispanic guy. Galatians 4 and 16. I might therefore become your enemy. I might therefore become your enemy. Go ahead. Because I tell you the truth. Because what? Because I tell you the truth. Because I tell you the truth, now I'm your enemy. And that's the person you're supposed to love. Because I'm your enemy because I tell you the truth, and you gotta love me. Because I love you. And I, I love the black and Hispanic people. I love y'all. But you're so simple. Like, you, gotta, you need to beat him, man. Your mom should have whooped your ass. You said your mom ain't beat you. She should have beat you because you ain't got no sense. You ain't got no sense. She should have beat you. I'm not your mom. I'm not your mom. Your mom should beat you. She gonna watch this YouTube video like, damn, this nigga made me look bad. That's your man? No. 
That's not my man. I hope you don't. I really do hope you don't have kids, for real. Like, I, I, I really do. I really do. Because you're looking bad. No, God did not say that. The Most High God did not say that. So first of all, come, come at least come with the Bible verse. At least come with the Bible. You're just saying stuff. Luke 19 verse 27. But those my enemies, which would not that I should reign over them. So the same person who said, love your enemies, which is Christ, talking about the people of your own nation, because I'm his enemy right now. That's who he's supposed to love. He's... Look what he said, juxtaposing. Go ahead. He don't want Christ to reign, so he's his enemy. Go ahead. Bring hither and slay them before me. So Christ said, bring his enemies and kill them in front of me. So you got to have understanding of the Bible. You have no understanding of the Bible at all whatsoever. And you're still here on the boardwalk arguing with a 20-year-old man. Go up the boardwalk. Go ahead. Nigga was drinking the wagon, right? Sirach 26 and 28. There be two things that grieve my heart, and the third making me angry. A man of war that suffered poverty. You're a man, you served 40 years, and niggas dragging a wagon. 40 years, and you're dragging a wagon with a dead speaker in it. You got, you go charge it. Because you could have had, I had another mic, you could have spoke. When the nigga speaker dead, his lights probably off. Cause the most like shut your, shut your goddamn lights off. Forty years, you're a man of war and poverty. Sirach 26 and 28. There be two things that grieve my heart. The third maketh me angry. A man of war that suffered poverty. A man of war that suffered poverty. Dragging a wagon. But he got a 401k. He's set for life. He's good. Where's your mate back? Where's your Balenciagas? Where's your Mary jeans, man? You got a goddamn old navy shirt talking about you got it. How? And a man of understanding that is not set by. And that's me, God. Right? And one that returned from righteousness to sin. The Lord prepared such and one for the sword. That's for you. That's for the Hebrew Israelites. Please do not fall out the truth. Please do not fall out the truth. Because God hates that. Right? And at this piece is the most. And with that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, Shimia, Shah, and say, Shalom, Wamek, Kumi, Yashar! Kumi, Yashar!